Hello everyone, this is Reevan and welcome to Reevan Media. If you are an Android user, then you should change some of the Android settings on your phone right away. Do you know Android has over 2.5 billion users around the world? That is almost 80% of the smartphone market. Yes, that's a huge number. But my question is, do all Android users make use of all the features that Android has to offer? Hmm, I don't think so. Because there are a couple of Android settings you need to change in your smartphone in order to make full use of your Android phone. So in this video, I will go through all the Android settings that you should change on your phone. And believe me, some of the Android settings will blow your mind. So the first Android setting you should turn on on your phone right away, I mean just right away is find my phone setting. To enable these settings, go to the settings menu on your phone, then select Google and here go to security options. Please note these settings can be located in different place depending upon the Android version you are using on your phone. I am using Android 11. so. If your phone is still running on Android 10 or Android 9, then you may have settings located in different places. So don't panic if you don't get the same settings as I do. Just look into the settings panel, you will find it. So once you come to this point, turn on this icon on your phone. So what's the benefit of enabling this setting? Well, this will help you to find the location of your phone. Suppose say if you lost your phone in some place or maybe somebody stole your phone then you are able to find the exact location of your phone. If find my phone settings is turned on on your phone then all you have to do is use a laptop or desktop and if you don't have a laptop just borrow from your friend and log into your google account first and type android.com forward slash find. Here it will take some time to detect your phone and shows you the exact location of your phone. And not only that, you can ring your phone by just clicking here. And interesting thing is, even if your phone is in silent mode, it starts ringing. Also, you can secure or erase all the data on your phone using your laptop. So even if you lost the phone, at least your data won't be used by others. So if you are worried about losing your phone, then just turn on these settings on your phone right away. So the next Android setting is used to customize the keyboard. If you are an Android user, then you might have seen this light grey keyboard on all the phones, right? Everyone uses this same keyboard and there is nothing special about it. What about if I tell you, you can customize this keyboard according to your taste? Well, you can actually customize this keyboard on your Android devices. Once you open the keyboard, select the settings option located on the top. And from here, select the themes option. Here you have multiple options to choose from. Currently, everyone is using a system generated keyboard. But here you will get a whole lot of options where you can change the color of the keyboard and also you can add some landscape images just to add some contrast. I will select this black color and I will turn on the keyboard as options. This will help text to pop up a little bit better and press apply. And also I will use one of these landscape images just for adding some contrast look. Hit apply and now my keyboard is customized according to my taste. The next Android settings is also related to your keyboard. How many of you struggled while typing with a keyboard on your phone? I mean, I struggled a lot and every time I get annoyed when I have to type in some numbers in text messages. I have to switch back to the number pad and type in some numbers and again switch back to the text mode and going back and forth every time is just annoying for anyone, right? Well, now I found a way where you can add a number pad at the top of your keyboard. It's actually very simple to do. Just go to settings. Here select preferences and just turn on this first options, the number row. This will enable the number pad on top of your keyboard and you don't have to switch between the number pad and the text mode. Now you can type in much faster and easier. And if you are annoyed by the vibration every time you type in something on your keyboard, then there is a solution for that as well. Go to the settings, preferences and turn off that vibration mode. So the next setting on Android 
is to turn on the magnification option. To turn on the magnification settings, go to the settings panel, find additional setting options. Here, select accessibility. Now, here you can turn on this magnification gesture option. After this, you have to tap on the screen three times and you can use your two fingers to zoom in or zoom out the screen. If you are reading an article and text are too small, then this option is very handy. Once you are done with that, triple tap again to go back to normal. The next Android setting is related to Google Chrome. Open Chrome browser on your phone and select these three doors which is located on the top right corner. Then go to the settings and scroll down and you can find a light mode. Click that and turn on this light mode on your Chrome browser. This mode is very helpful to save your mobile data. Suppose say you have a bad internet signal, then instead of waiting for a long time to open up a website, it uses whatever internet signal you are getting and opens up a light mode of that website. Light mode is basically the simplest or lighter version of that website where it eliminates unnecessary animations, slides and heavy files and shows you a simple and basic version of that website. And here you can see how much mobile data I saved just using this method. If you have a limited data plan, then this technique is very useful to save your data. If you want your phone to be much faster than before, then you can do so by just turning on these simple settings. First go to the settings menu and here select the about phone option and click on MIUI version 7 times to open a developer option. It says you are already a developer because I already turned on this feature before shooting this video. Please note I am using Android 11 version so if you are using Android 10 or 9 you may find different settings to turn on the developer option so keep that in mind. So once you enable the developer options go to the settings, additional settings and go to developer option and scroll down and you will get a window animation scale transition animation scale and animator duration scale. By default, all of these are set to 1x speed. So what you have to do is set all of these to 0.5x. This is where it eliminates some of the fancy slow animation and gives you a quick, faster and easy animation for your phone. This way you can open applications and scroll very quickly on your phone. So the last Android setting is available for Redmi smartphone users. If you have a Redmi smartphone, then go to the settings and explore new features option. Here you can find the second space option. This will help you to create two spaces in one mobile phone. It's like having two displays on one phone. To open your second display, just simply hit create second space and set a password for your second space. You can use a fingerprint scanner or pattern password depending on your need. So, once you set that, it will open a second screen. This is a brand new second display for my phone. Here I can save all my important and secret documents on the second display and on my first space, I can use it regularly. That way, I can secure all my data on my second space. To switch between each display, there is a shortcut button located on the menu. Please hit that. I will put my first screen password and it will bring it to my first screen. So this is as simple as that. So if you have made it till here, then you probably have noticed all the settings that you need to change in your Android phone. So what are you waiting for? Go and change those settings right away. But before you leave this video, don't forget to hit that like button. So thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video.